Dion, you can start. All right. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another day of the industry e-meet uh, by DQ Labs. Today we have with us Nitin Kumblekar, who is an illustrator, an amazing, amazing, talented illustrator. But before we go into the details of Nitin, uh, we'd just like to talk about the background as to why we do this and who we are, right? So DQ Labs or Design Quotient Labs deeply believes that design has the power to make lives of millions of people simple, beautiful, efficient, and memorable. With this belief, the founders of DQ Labs, Sean Disa and Mish Kumar, both alumni of IIT Delhi, with a collective industry experience of 40 man years, have embarked on a journey to create design superheroes. In the last 13 years, they have mentored more than 12,000 students uh, in creative careers. They're trying to achieve this by giving awareness, exposure, counseling, training, and mentoring to design aspirants, not only to get into the top architecture, design, and fashion school across the world, but also going beyond to help them settle in professional careers. Many aspiring design students and their parents are unaware of the creative profession and hence have many questions. To bridge this gap, each week, DQ Labs invites creative professionals in the field of architecture, fashion, and design, the invited professionals will be explaining about their projects, the challenges they've gone through while executing their design projects, the design process that they had adopted, and many, many more interesting aspects of their profession. They will also talk about their story of becoming who they are now. Right. So we have we have with us Nitin Kumblekar. He's graduated from the Karnataka Chitrakala Parishit, Bangalore, and uh, he's graduated in 2005. He started his career off in an advertising agency and quickly made it to becoming an art director within five years. And he worked he worked there for another five years before he started freelancing as an illustrator. As a freelance illustrator, he collaborates with many, many creative minds in India as well as globally. He's created illustrations for many national as well as international campaigns. Uh, for example, Hollard, Intel, IBM, Lenovo, Pepsi, Britannia, Vodafone, Expedia. And this is just to name a few, right? So um, Nitin is an amazing guy and we are very, very happy to have him here. Uh, Nitin, over Hi. to you. Thank you so much for making it and taking the time out to come here. Okay, let me show my... Hi. Hey, hi Nathan. Hello. <laughs> so good, uh, good to have you here. Yeah. And looking forward to your part of the presentation. Okay. So, uh... hello everyone. So as uh, Dion said, I started my career in uh, advertising agency in 2005. I, like, as soon as I graduated from uh, Chitakala Pashat, I joined advertising agency and then I worked in agency for like uh, five years till 2010 but then I got got bored of my job and decided to quit and start on my own like uh, as a illustrator which is different from uh, art director's position like, as an art director you are responsible for creating uh, like uh, marketing material and like all kind of uh, communication design needs that is required by uh, clients different clients so, so you start from scratch like uh, from ideation to till the uh, delivery of the uh, all the designs 
but as a illustrator you don't have to do all that like uh, so basically illustrator is just the uh, final uh, stage of the design that and that's what i can say uh, for example in a in an ad agency you work uh, as a art director and you brainstorm with your copywriter and you come up with some idea you present it to your client and the uh, uh, like back and forth keeps happening and uh, you uh, get too many changes from the client side and you uh, like again go back to them with lots of uh, different options and finally you, uh, they approve some uh, like some of the ideas and then is the final stage of the uh, all the ideation part so then you need uh, 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 like some expertise uh, help where you have to create the final uh, illustration or the designs for uh, your communication or for, uh, for your uh, ideas so that's where i pitch in right now like uh, the ideas everything is like already uh, approved by the client and now my job is like I, as an illustrator i have to uh, improvise that idea and uh, like uh, deliver the final product final image so let me share my screen and run you through a uh, few of the some of my illustrations just a moment share the screen uh can you see my screen now yes that now we can see your screen um hello it shows it shows a blank screen right now yeah, yeah now we can it's better if you uh i think my net connection is slow here it's getting better Uh, sorry guys i think my net speed is little slow here or it could be some problem with the zoom okay yeah i hope you can see this screen now so basically uh, this is one best example i could give uh, whereas uh, yeah here the basic brief that i got from the agency uh, when we were working on this radio mirchi campaign was like uh, you know, it's a delhi based uh, agency uh mechanics and they uh, called me and they said like they have uh, ideas like uh, where the rj uh, basically radio mirchi wanted to promote their rj rj one particular show which runs in the morning uh, like it, it is supposed to be their prime time uh, like uh, people normally uh, drive during uh, like uh, morning uh, and they usually uh, listen to the radio when they are, while they are driving to office so this is uh, this program is something uh, something called like a rohit recharge rohit is the uh, rj so they wanted uh, like uh, three uh, different uh, images to be created using rohit's face it shouldn't be like a too exaggerated shouldn't be like a too much of uh, 
uh, caricature kind of a feel but at the same time it should have some humor element to it so that's the brief that i got and they also told me like uh, it should look like okay he's recharging one person and another uh, one more campaign uh, was like uh, uh, like like uh, he's uh, basically uh, turning uh, uh, putting some key and like a, like a toy <laughs> and uh, he's recharging another person and same way as the campaign like this so when we started i asked them like okay uh, since the person like uh, the main rohit's face should be like a real face so i asked them to do a photo shoot of uh, of the rj with the particular angle i did uh, roughly did like a few uh, like uh, sketches of uh, rohit like uh, which angle he should be in and uh, how his facial expression should be and they uh, shot it accordingly with the proper lighting like uh, i asked them to give like uh, some rim light or like that but finally when they uh, i received the image like uh, his rohit's photo it was just the, his face so after that his body this hand everything is like different like if you notice it closely uh, this guy i took my face as a reference for this guy and uh, i took my own photo i asked my uh, roommate to take take my picture and in a back pose and i this is actually my hand it's not uh, rohit's hand so same way and uh, this is actually this is my wife <laughs> i took her photo and uh, uh, like and this is my hand so basically when you look at the uh, finished image it looks like okay uh, uh, we, it's not uh, uh, like uh, okay these are like a different parts i composed everything together in such a way that it should look like one piece so this is one example i could give let me show you one more Yeah, this is another campaign that I had worked almost like uh, nine years back, I guess. Yes, yeah, nine years back. So this was for Alan Solly uh, brand campaign. So they, uh, I was working in this agency before, uh, like it's called uh, Ogilvy and Mather. And uh, you know, like uh, when I start, uh, when I was working on this work, I was actually freelancing, and but I knew the team very well. they contacted me saying that uh, uh they have this particular idea in their mind saying like like uh, the models will be shot uh, against uh, like a gray background and the entire background should be illustrated like it's like a chalk drawing so uh to create such a huge uh, chalk drawing or uh, like any other material uh, it will take like a lot of time and they wanted uh, around the 10 images like this the biggest challenge was like uh, even if i uh, create like a uh, life size illustrations there is no option for us to go back and change uh, like do any changes if you if required and the models will have to uh, pose exactly same uh, like uh, they'll have to position themselves exactly in the same way how we have pictureized uh, in the illustration so i gave them an option saying that uh, there is another way i can draw it in uh, photoshop and make it look like it's drawn on uh, on on the spot like a uh, chalk drawing so what we did we did the photo shoot first then we composed all the uh, all uh, all the photos in such a way uh, then uh, that uh, it looks like okay it's one image and then i started do, uh, drawing all the background like all this illustration in photoshop and made it, made it look like okay it's actually there so you can see this his shadow everything is like all natural it's not fake whereas this illustration is not uh, it wasn't there i had drawn it later so there were many changes happening when i was drawing this and we spent almost uh, like a month to create all these images
So when you see all this, uh, the most important thing is like we think that okay, uh, it's easy uh, to like if I if I can draw, it's easy to manage something like this. But the most important thing when you are uh, when you are drawing something is like uh, it is not about the skill. Anybody can draw, but how you think when you draw is more important, like the creative part, basically. So, like whenever you get the brief, you get the brief, like uh, the brief will be very uh, static. I mean, uh, they have the idea, but how you improvise the idea is the important factor here. Just a moment. Let me show one more. my neck is like really slow okay yeah thank god yeah so this particular image the this is just the image but it came on uh, mumbai mirror uh, newspaper they had a campaign for uh, a newspaper uh, like they are uh, for self promotion like uh, they were running some um, housey game with the newspaper so these are all done accordingly. Like uh, uh, once the copy had come, like uh, was uh, like a different kind of a layout. There is another very interesting project that I worked uh, last year. It was for uh, Hong Kong based uh, pet food company. So they contacted me with the brief saying that they want to create six images for the promotion of uh, dog and cat food. So they wanted to create a land of dogs, like as if uh, uh, they are humans like that. So obviously shooting the dogs and composing it in Photoshop is not an option. So they wanted to illustrate. So this is what we created. So here in this image, you can see like this, uh, these cats are like, uh, some cats are like stealing the pet food and uh, this particular like guy here over here, like the driver is jumping and and see titanic kind of a ship here so basically when the client briefed uh, the I, their basic idea was like uh, to make the pack look like it's like really huge and it's part of the train and the train is moving and uh, some cats are like uh, doing their naughty business here like they have kept some bomb and so that they can uh, steal this cat food like that but how you pictureize this entire scene, how you put it on paper is very important. Like uh, I decided to give like a different kind of a lighting, like the sun should be behind this uh, train and the light should come from this, from back. And there should be some kind of a uh, sky, uh, like a blue sky tone on this cat here. And there should be a shadow on the floor so that these cats here, these two cats will get highlighted at the same time, there should be a uh, like a hill behind this part, and this cat should shouldn't have any uh, other uh, anything else in behind him so that it will distract. So uh, since it is like a complete blue sky, this cat this particular cat is getting highlighted over here. So basically, these small small things are like very important when you are drawing, and that is what makes your illustration pop out more. Yeah, same thing if you notice here. This was not my idea, basically. <laughs> the client wanted me to draw the uh, dog like skipping from like uh, behind the this flag here. Yeah. Yeah. 
and uh, like another thing is like uh, whenever you have uh, some ideas like this like uh, for example here there's like a dockyard and these people are like unloading all this cat food and they're stacking up and they're taking it, taking it to their dockyard or somewhere like that but uh, the idea sounds very uh, simple like uh, it sounds very flat but how do you make it visually more appealing is very challenging so i decided to uh, say if i draw it like a flat line and like a straight angle it won't be that interesting so i decided to make it look like a fish eye kind of a view like this uh, the uh, uh, the overall angle itself will make you feel like okay there is something more in the picture it's not just the uh, like uh, five cats uh, transporting some cat food at the back you can see some uh, like a tower is there and there's another uh, like a fort is there and overall lighting and the, the mood of the picture makes it look more interesting even though there is not much of a storytelling happening here the image looks very epic same thing over here so if you notice the many many things happening in this uh, yeah like if you notice the in this corner there are some cats doing like uh, like a farming there uh, over here and there are some chicken here so these are like all small small details which uh, nobody will notice in the first first look let me show you one more work okay uh this client was uh, um, uh it was like a milk product and they wanted to do a campaign for uh, uh, like a, uh, for launching in uh, delhi so basically the idea was to show that uh, after you drink milk you will be so strong that mm, nobody can beat you like that so that kind of image they wanted to create but we decide like the creative team decided to exaggerate a bit too much <laughs> so here it is the image again like if i draw this entire image in like a flat angle like okay this kid is like basically stopping the sumo wrestler so if i draw it in a straight angle there is no much drama happening over here so instead i decided to draw it like a different angle here like this glass is coming very close to your uh, to the camera and uh, the main product what we are trying to sell here basically the milk that is right on the face of the customers here so we can this milk is getting highlighted um, um, uh, highlighted in the first cut and when then you can see the sumo wrestler here and then lot more drama ha drama happening in the background like there's another guy here like with the short expression so like that but at the same time if you notice this entire lighting over here the shadow basically i have given it like two three different kind of a lighting so you can see two three different shadows forming here so making it look more lively it's not just flat image and the, at the same time even the expression of this guy over here should look like he's putting on like lots of pressure but he's struggling to beat this boy over here and this guy over here at the back the detailing you can see only when you zoom in and check like when you check the entire image in one shot it is not getting highlighted but yeah this is another image that i have created for the same campaign basically exaggerating a bit too much Mm -hmm. 
yeah this was the third image <laughs> but uh, if you notice there is a deer here it's like screaming so these are the small small details that nobody will notice but uh, it's important to create something like this because uh, since these are like a flat image uh, this was running on a bomb uh, like a delhi metro stations and when you are waiting for a like a train you will spend lots of time looking around what's next to you so uh, i didn't want to take chance saying uh, like uh, okay so if somebody is watching this ad they should spend little more time than just a uh, like 2 3 seconds so when they start staring at this same, this image they'll start noticing okay there are many characters many more characters in the background like that this was created for uh, bangladesh uh, based uh, ice cream company called the bloop yeah so here the biggest challenge was they don't didn't have budget to shoot uh Uh, for this uh, this particular campaign so but at the same time it's not just the budget like uh, even if you uh, do the photo shoot you can't get this kind of expression so they basically wanted to get that uh, exaggerated kind of expression with the ice cream here so this is all illustrated how we develop the uh illustration and make the product looks uh, like pop out in this image is very challenging another important thing what i forgot to tell you is like uh, if you have to do any uh, photo editing and uh, image creation in like uh, with photoshop this not just the uh, and photo shoot uh, expenditure that you have to pay you also have to uh, think about uh, how much you spend on stock images like stock stock images uh, are like really expensive but whereas uh, when you are doing a illustration you don't have to worry about all that like uh, uh, like a creative person can come up with any ideas and like uh, let's create uh, some more uh, fruits so it's very easy uh, uh, when you brief it to illustrator because illustrating is not going to cost you extra for like uh, you you adding any stock image this image basically it was uh, for like a stock uh, exchange kind of a feel they wanted to give in this image like uh, the bull and the bear they are like us uh, working towards uh, your investment day and night they wanted to show that struggle in this image so i decided to make it look like okay it's a night shot and they are sitting on inside the office and their desk is like all messy with the lots of files and at the same time their expression should be like they are totally stressed so i think this was feeling you know yeah and here this is another image for a different client sorry guys my neck doesn't look like it's cooperating with me right now Thank <laughs> you. 
Hmm. The internet is unstable. Okay. So let me know if you can hear this sound. We all have things that keep us awake at night, but when you ensure you're stuck with Hanard, you'll get a good night's sleep. To bring this to life, we created a series of six billboards at key points around Johannesburg, South Africa. Okay, let me play this again. When you ensure you're stuck with Harnard, you'll get a good night's sleep. To bring this to created a series of six billboards at key points around Johannesburg, South Africa, using tech never before seen in the country. During the day, the billboards stare into oncoming traffic, but at night, they shut their eyes and drift off to a restful sleep. Just like all of Hanart's customers. Yeah, so that was for the client, uh, like an insurance client. Yeah, you almost got everything in that video. So, this is what I had created. Like, I had created like six different characters here. So all these characters had like uh, two different versions. One is like uh, eyes wide open and other is like eyes are closed. So it was like not, uh, uh, you don't get uh, this kind of brief every day. <laughs> so uh, I was lucky enough to get this. At the same time, they wanted to create like a different uh, uh, like ethnicity, uh, like uh, this is like, a, Total European skin, and this is more like an Indian girl here, and this is like African. So, yeah, it was nice, quite nice, interesting project. Let me show you one image which I created in the in GIF format. Looks like this is going to take forever to load. So, okay, yeah. So you can see this two versions here over here, like one eye wide open and in the night it closes. I think most of you have eaten this particular jelly. It's called Laban. So I had created a poster for them and uh, they have also used some of these characters on their packaging. So basically, as an illustrator, I get to work on like a different, uh, uh, like a variety of projects. So it is not just about like a creating a, uh, like a, like a poster or like a packaging or anything. Whatever illustration that I create, it can be used anywhere. So that way, I was like very lucky, and uh, I can. Imagine like uh, how it would have been for me if I was still working in advertising agency because as an art director, I would be working on ideating from scratch and then like uh, like presenting it, presenting it to the client and you won't even get uh, like a different variety of projects from like the different cities. You just have to stick with like the current client that you have, uh, which the agency has. So that way, your portfolio growth will be a little slower than 
uh, like what how it is for me right now okay let me show one more after that i'll play one some videos for you to understand like how uh, it works what's the process that i have let me show you one serious poster over here this was created for a movie uh, like tamil movie so there is a art director creative director called uh, vinci raj he wanted me to illustrate uh, like a all the movie posters in like totally illustration like it is not uh, he didn't want to use uh, any photos as it is he, so he asked me to make uh, illustration from the background as well as the main characters so what he did was like uh, he shot all the uh, movie uh, actors in different different angles and with the different lights and he sent me all the uh, photo photographs and i had to compose them everything together like how he had pictureized and then make it look like one single piece so that was my job this is the first teaser poster that i had created uh, this was uh, like uh, way before they had uh, released the movie so i can tell you how i created these hands this hand is mine this is my hand this is my wife this is my friend <laughs> so basically i shot all the uh, everyone around me uh, like uh, as a reference and then composed everything together and made like uh, did the drawing again like these are not photos everything is like hand drawn this took me almost a week to create and this is the final poster that we had created for the movie so if you notice like uh, this hand was like exaggerated i made it look like little bigger than uh, like uh, the reality so that it looks like okay it's coming towards you and the, uh, as when you go back it's like it's getting smaller and smaller over here at the same time this entire ambience is looking like okay it's one single piece uh, it doesn't look like okay they uh, all these characters are shot in a different uh, scenario and uh, like then later composed together it looks like okay one sing single piece like they are all uh, shot together same thing over here and another liberty that you have when you are uh illustrating these uh, like uh, um, poster instead of uh, photos is like you 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 can ch uh, decide like what kind of lighting and what kind of environment that we want to create for example this particular guy over here at the back uh he was not getting this kind of a tone like uh, orange tone over here the same tone i repeated on this guy's face over here on the left side and made it look like okay it is getting balanced light from the left as well as right and made it look like okay when it comes to the center this guy is getting the more highlight over here and yeah obviously he's a hero he should get more highlight you can check the details over here since this is for like a movie i can't afford to have like a half finished job over here so i had to make like a make it look like hyper realistic so spent a lot of time illustrating this the best part about illustrating these characters were like they all had like really really interesting expressions yeah here you can clearly see that it is not a photo it is like illustrated okay let me play a video of this moment
Okay, I'm going to uh, play a video, which I think is here. Just a moment, guys. Okay, I hope you can hear the sound. Okay, so that's it. This video is there. I'll let me show you one more. This is a different one. I think you'll like it. Yeah, I'll show you the completed illustration later.
Still see my screen, right? Okay, uh, I'm searching for that image right now. Yeah, here it is. So, this is the one. Uh, so uh, this was created for like uh, the uh, product for like a manicure and pedicure product. I, I haven't used it, <laughs> so I can't tell you like how we, how is it. Uh, so they wanted to do this illustration for the magazine. So the magazine was like double spread, like left and right, both the pages were covered. So on the left side, you can see this hand and like uh, feet here. Like both these are like resting. Like and having chill, like uh, like really nice time over the beach, and the right side they had like a copy all over running on the face. Like uh, I don't know, remember exactly what the, what was the copy, and they had the product shown over the uh, the right side. So yeah, the basic idea was like to show the hand and palm like they are flexing on the beach, but how do you make it more interesting is like challenging. Like yeah, you can see the like juice over here, and like, uh, and there's some shack on in the back background, and there's a starfish here. They have done like uh, some sand castle kind of a thing over here, and there's another feet like it's like doing some like beach activity over here with the hand. Like if you zoom in a little more, I think you can see the hand. Let me zoom in and show you that. Yeah. So these are all like uh, tiny, tiny details, which I don't know if people will notice it or not. But yeah, it adds a lot of value to your illustration when you do it. Let me show you what the reference image that I had taken for that. Yeah. This is the reference that I had taken for that illustration. But final image is very different from what I uh, what I was taking inspiration inspiration from. But yeah, final image looks better, I guess. <laughs> mm, let me show you one more very interesting project that I worked. This is not for the client. I uh, I wanted to take a break from all commercial projects and do something for myself. This illustration. Okay, it's not loading here. Hmm. Okay. Not a cat lover, but still, I like to draw cats. So, if you notice, this is all like a detailed background over here. Normally, people won't notice all this, so I just added uh, two more images with like zoomed in, like a more close up shots. 
So this is the entire image. was created for a client based in US and they wanted to do some illustration for uh, their packaging. Basically, uh, he had a product of uh, like barbecue sauce. Uh, yeah, it was quite fun. And they he wanted to show the illustration like, like Kung Fu chicken like this. Sorry guys, my net is damn slow today. I think uh, it got a sense that I'm going to present it today. <laughs> I decided to humiliate me as much as possible. Okay, this is taking forever. Mm. I'm really sorry people, this is damn slow. Okay, let me show this work. Yeah, last year, TPS wanted to, uh, they had uh, event dark, uh, uh, an event in Goa, where they wanted to, basically they wanted to promote their bikes, but at the same time, they wanted to um, uh, have some activity and uh, make the, all participants have 
fun over there. So for this particular, uh, the promotion of this event, they wanted to create one illustration. But the challenging job was like, uh, they wanted all the uh, different activities separate so that uh, they can, uh, like if they want, they can just pick one particular activity and uh, highlight that, like move around, like something like that. So this is the final, like one piece image that I had created. But all these images were on like different, different layers in Photoshop. So for example, if you want to take out these people over here, you can just take that particular, like uh, these people out of this image and place it somewhere else. You can recompose all these, uh, like uh, rearrange all these people here and there, like whichever way you want. So yeah, just sky challenge. If you notice, there are like more than 50 people in this illustration. Took me a really, really lot of time to finish this job. Yeah, this campaign was created for the cab service called uh, Rail. I don't know whether you, you are aware of it, but uh, yeah, it had launched last year. Uh, I think it's, it was launched long back, uh, way before that, but yeah, they wanted to do a campaign like uh, um, where they can showcase, uh, like uh, highlight the importance of uh, renting a cab, like not renting a car basically. So this was the image that I had created for the extension of their TVCs. I'll play TV commercial based on these characters, what they had based on which I created these illustrations. All quirky kind of uh, characters. And these, these illustrations also appeared on their commercials, TV commercials. Mr. Creepy Cab Driver, self drive car, don't suffer in your suffer. This is another character. Let's play that. Mr. Party Pants go, I'm suffer from one out. Rev, self drive car, Rev, don't suffer in your suffer. And this is the last one. Mr. Katwale can be go home, Safar Matanao. Rev, self drive car, Jalao. Rev, don't suffer in your suffer. Yeah, that's it. So I'll play the video of like how I created this. And it looks like this is a little high resolution image, you know, like video. Okay, let's not play it online. I will uh, try to grab it on my computer. Okay, here it is. Uh, So basically when I start the illustration, it looks all flat, like a 2D kind of uh, feel will be there. But when I finish it, I make sure it should look like almost like a 3D image. Yeah. 
this is how I created that. And the thing is, like, uh, even in this illustration, like, uh, there are many things that you hardly notice. Like, for example, this Cupid over here and uh, his eyes, eyeballs, uh, it is like a heart shape. And there's some spelling mistake over here. And, uh, yeah, these are the small, small details that you don't notice. Okay, I hope you found it interesting and I didn't bore you by my slow internet speed over here. <laughs> Now I'm just searching for like a project which I can show you faster, I, which I believe will load faster. Hello, yeah. Okay, here, this is a uh, interesting work. Uh, like uh, uh, the client wanted to show like a storytelling just with the shadow. The expression of the shadow should be there. But how do you show that? Like with the supporting characters over here, like these couple, like uh, their parents, basically they are shocked that they, uh, the kid has just opened the door over here. So to make it look like a like a small girl, I had to keep like teddy bear on her hand. But yeah, in the beginning when I started this illustration, I was not sure that uh, the story will be uh, very clear. But yeah, I think I achieved it. And same thing over here, like the kid is shocked. The shocking expression is is visible with the hand, just with the shadow of the hand. And to make it look like, okay, this particular fish is very close to him. I added like many different uh, supporting stories over here. Like he has drawn the picture of the cat, uh, like, sorry, fish over here. And there is a Finding Nemo CD in this. And uh, the story, uh, like in this news, uh, it's basically saying like a breaking news, which will connect to this. I don't know how many people actually got it, but yeah, I tried my level best to give some detail. And uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you this. The school bank over here, it has a fish image again, basically making it look like, okay, this boy really loves this fish. For me, if you know Baba Cycle, uh, yeah, it's quite cold. <laughs> now I don't know many of the people, like uh, younger generation won't know who this guy is, but he was like a kind of a pop star in 90s. Had camping, room had Baba Cycle as brand ambassador. Room is basically like uh, like buying and selling portal online portal for cars. Okay, it's taking forever to load. Yeah, even this had uh, PVCs, and I had to create illustration as a supporting character for the print media and digital marketing. Ah, okay. 
my net has dropped completely. Sorry, guys. Okay, thank God. Yeah. <coughs> this is the image that I had created. Like, uh, yeah, he's basically uh, giving the car key and the copy, like the final ad said, like, Ab gadi becho, bete bete, like that. Like he's giving the key, like brand new car, but it's a second hand car. And here it's like, Ab har used gadi per milegi nahi wali feeling. Yeah, basically it's like distributing the, uh, like Laddu, like he has bought the new car. Yeah. Meru had a different idea for like a, uh, to promote their uh, sharing option option like for cab you have sharing options right these days you can uh, like two people can uh, go in same cab like that so here we wanted to show like uh, two different characters in the shape of car like they are sitting together like that so this is like a news reporter and a politician but when you take a look at the entire image it has a shadow of a car same thing we want over here like this is like two different characters totally different personalities this is like a, a like a kind of a <laughs> what do you say like a rowdy kind of a character this is like very decent guy with like a blazer and he has a passport here like he's going to physically going to an airport like that but they both are sitting together and chilling together like that. Yeah, and the overall image has like this car outline over here. So, yeah, I think I have shown you enough in works of mine. So basically, as an illustrator, you get to work on like uh, different projects. The most challenging thing is like, uh, how do you make it uh, make it look like uh, okay, uh, better than your previous work? Like every time I get any new project, I, the biggest challenge uh, what I have is like within myself, like. I want to make it look as good as possible. So the, uh, when you scroll down, these are all my old works. And uh, when I compare it with my recent work, it is like a way to uh, improve and uh, way to uh, and much more advanced than my what I used to do before. Like, uh, like all the works that I used to work uh, do uh, for like five years back and now what I have achieved is totally different feel to my all my illustration. This is one of my latest work. So basically it's a card game. So the game is all about uh, pirates. So this, I had created like uh, four different pirates. Yeah, here it is. So this output is totally different from my previous works. I don't know how this card game is played. This is like a, maybe more like a, like Monopoly or no, not really Monopoly. I don't know. Maybe I should buy this and uh, start playing. Then I will know. But yeah, 
creating these characters was like really interesting. So if you notice, all these characters are like different. Like, this guy looks like a Arab kind of a guy, and here she's more like a Irish kind of a girl over here. This is more like African skin. He has a like a kind of a cut mark over here in his eye, and even this girl has this. But most of the characters, like this girl, has lost the eye completely. I tried to give some kind of a mark on every character, whereas this first character doesn't really have any marks on his face, but the knife over here looks like okay, like it, like he has used it really hard. And this is the admiral character. Yeah, that's it, guys. Yeah, this idea is for the killer dry shampoo. I have not used this, but uh, supposed to be really good. Like if you have messy hair, you can fix it really fast. That's what they are promising. This is the idea which uh, we had, like a, like a seesaw. Okay, like if you have to do like an immediate shift, you don't have enough time, and uh, you can fix your hair faster like that. This guy is going to going on a goa trip and suddenly he got like a casting call like that and uh, with this messy hair he can't really go here so killer dry shampoo can really help to fix his hair basically that was the idea here and uh, here you can see this guy is at a construction site it's very clear with this some blueprint in his hand and these two girls are at the movie theater. You can see that, uh, see that clearly just with this seed and uh, the kind of a reflection that they are getting on their face, like a movie screen reflection. Same thing over here. Like, uh, these people have party environment over here and this guy is stuck at the office. And you can see the disco lights on the floor here. So this is the kind of a detailing that I like to do on my work. Actually, I can hardly see these uh, uh, like this blueprint, all these kind of details. But yeah, when you zoom out, even if, if I keep it blank, everybody can notice. So that's the reason, like uh, it's better to fill it with something over here. It doesn't really make any sense, but yeah, I've drawn it like, okay, there's something important in this paper. And same thing over here on the screen, like there are too many, folders make it look like okay um, 
like this guy is like a really hard worker and is busy at office like that. If you notice like uh, this director guy over here, he's holding like two, two, three different photographs of model like for casting. This light was like really challenging for me to create like uh, uh, two different lights. If I make it totally dark, then it won't fit in the same environment as the as like uh, this guy over here. So when you take a look at this image, he's getting the light from here. And even these two girls are getting the light from that same direction. But at the same time, they're also getting the light from the front, which is like movie uh, theater kind of uh, feel. So, yeah, it works finally. Yeah, hi Nitin, um, Umesh here. So hi. very nice work, amazing work, uh, very inspiring. Stop that. Right, yeah. and um, it's very nice to see the process as well, uh, wherein a flat image has been converted into something uh, very exciting and meaningful. You know, so yeah, uh, very good presentation. Thank you for sharing all this information. There are a lot of questions from the audience. Okay, I would like to ask uh, those one after the other. But just uh, meanwhile, let me let me share a screen. All right. Okay. So a lot of questions as you are uh, showcasing your work, okay? So let me ask, uh, okay. try to cover as many as possible, okay? Mm, okay. So I'm just- oh, I didn't uh, know, uh, like, uh, there are, uh, anybody watching this or not? <laughs> most <laughs> of the time, are, my- yeah. Right. And so they're all watching live on uh, YouTube, okay? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why today my internet is like really, really slow. Yeah. I have today I'm not even getting one Mbps, I guess. Okay. I mean, it uh, always happens, right? Um, when the main event happens, that is when everything fails, isn't it? I think the three of the is... are not helping, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, it was like really embarrassing. <laughs> not able to open it. Right. right, right. Okay, so um, Nikita is asking, what is the main software do you use for creating these illustrations? Uh, yeah, I use only uh, Adobe Photoshop. Okay. So all the illustrations that I create, uh, like basically uh, done uh, in Photoshop, but I have a Cintiq monitor, Wacom Cintiq. Yeah. Uh, you might have heard about like uh, you, maybe you know how to use uh, this one uh, pen tablet so this monitor is just like a pen tablet but uh, it's like you're dra drawing directly on the screen so that way it is much more faster than drawing on the pen tablet right yeah. in a couple of videos you, you could actually see you use the vacuum synthetic yes 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 all right so uh, Amoga is asking generally, how long does a single one of these take from ideation to result? Like if it is a single character, okay, yeah, and you've got a brief describing how the character should look and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So how long does it take from you from the initial ideation till the final uh, finishing of the character? Uh, yeah, like uh, whenever I get a brief, uh, if it is just a character. So the mm. biggest thing is like uh, I'll be sharing this uh, like I'll get as much input uh, like uh, information from the client as possible. Like uh, I'll I ask them a lot of question like uh, what kind of character basically they are picturizing. Uh, if it is a human character, what kind mm. of uh, age group they are targeting, mm. and uh, things like that. 
so once i get the uh, information from them i share the like a uh, pencil scribbles not pencil scribbles basically i draw on photoshop itself mm. like uh, is a uh, uh, like pure outline drawing sketches mm. i share it with them and then depending on the feedback if they have any feedback like uh, sometimes the character doesn't work at all and i have to restart the drawing mm. and uh, like in that process basically uh, uh, and uh, uh, like sharing it with the uh, like client in a sense like i have to share it with the art director and they have to share it with the client so it's a long process there itself so mm. i lose out too many too much of time over there so basically uh, getting the approval from the client on the uh, like on finalizing one particular sketch will take around one week mm-hmm. so after i get the final confirmation or like go ahead on the uh, pencil out uh, like out basic outline uh, drawing then i take about for one character i take about uh, like uh, Two days to color it. Hmm. Two days. Sometimes I also finish it within one one day, but I normally generally take uh, two days time from my client. Hmm. Okay. Two days. Yeah. Okay. Also, question uh, about the newspaper ad that you showed in Times of India. How much time did you take to do that? Okay. And. Uh, also a question that says how how much were you paid but that's up to you if you want to answer that <laughs> the payment is the uh, very tricky part like uh, you have to decide how much money you you want nobody can tell you like uh, how much to charge there is no standard or uh, uh, any guideline saying that okay you have to charge uh, 20000 or you have to charge 50000 like that depends on like uh, how you uh, create your brand image in the market yeah. so if you don't have any competition and you believe that okay this client has lots of money and they don't have time and no option but you <laughs> so you can charge them a bomb and even if they bargain you can be adamant and say that no i'm not going to reduce from my price boss but this is the final cost like that there are many situations where i share like really low uh, uh, like a really really uh, low price to some clients because i believed that okay uh they are not like a national client or they are more like a local clients and they end up saying that okay this is too cheap we can pay more like that oh, wow <laughs> it it really depends on each scene scenario hmm it's not like fixed price or anything and yeah it's not like a per, per square foot thing right <laughs> yeah, no 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 not like that it is not like going to a, a shop and uh, okay asking about okay i want a3 size drawing or a2 size drawing It doesn't yeah. create, like all the illustrations that i create are all like a high resolution image and uh, you can print it on a billboard or you can you make a use of uh, uh, make use for like uh, instagram ad like really small screen it doesn't really matter so the basic amount that you spend uh, uh, like the time uh, the time that you spend on the each illustration will be same it is not going to differ so charges are uh, basically on the on your effort level like uh, each character that i draw i charge it accordingly like uh, how much time i really uh, need for this like that so uh, if i have to talk about this um, uh, the radio mirchi ad that i showed you like yes yeah, yeah there it was quite tricky i i can talk about the charges because i don't even remember how much i charged <laughs> those great <laughs> around like 5 6 years back uh, yeah but i'll tell you the timeline how uh, how the process worked for that so the agency basically contacted me uh, with this idea and i had uh, shared them like a basic pencil scribbles with them for the photo shoot not for the final layouts so they had to uh, like they took around like 3 uh, days to uh, get the like uh, uh, i mean to shoot the rj and because uh, they uh, they had to fly him to uh, bombay i think from delhi and they did the shoot and they sent me his photographs and i took about like uh, two days to share one uh, sketch and finally after getting the approval on the sketch all of a sudden client didn't have any time at all so i had to finish a, uh, like each illustration within like uh, two days like uh, two days time for one illustration like that so within one week i had created all three illustrations 
so yeah basically the time was like a very less but i had to uh, like work for like more than 12 hours a day and uh, finish it off yeah it's uh, it's quite like that most of the time right yeah. yes uh, there are a lot of questions about uh, the career itself for example uh, the role of an illustrator in a production uh, is a illustrator different from a graphic designer uh do you need to study in a design school or a fine art school you know these kind of questions do you have anything to uh yeah them yeah so uh like i started this like as a i i started my career as a art director basically i uh, i was a, as an art director you are not uh like uh, have to have a skill of uh, drawing skill or anything like illustration is basically like a pure skill right so it is not like uh, if you are an art director you have to draw anything like that so graphic designing is totally different subject altogether art direction is different and uh, in within all these uh, like different fields if you have this skill like if you can draw this is going to be like additional uh, like uh, like uh, like plus point for you so imagine you are working in uh, like a company as a ui ux designer and uh, you basically uh, uh, have to design a website for what like uh, say for mintra website for example and suddenly you get an idea of like a why, why not use some uh, different kind of icon uh, shape or some decoration uh, like uh, some different kind of uh, imagery and if you don't have illustration skill what happens is like you will be uh, struggling with uh, uh, pinterest or online searching for some reference images and getting it uh, uh, showing it to the uh, to your uh, like to your superior to your, to your boss and getting the approval from them whether we have to purchase this image or not or getting it uh, should we get it done by somebody else like that but imagine if you have the skill of uh, if you have a drawing skill you don't have to worry about all that you can directly draw on your own and then present it like it's like a final finished product and obviously like uh, when you have something original uh, like when you have some original thought idea you don't you, uh, you don't waste too much of time browsing online so that's what happened with me like when i was a art director i was not wasting time online searching for images i was directly uh, drawing on paper and scanning it and uh, putting it on layout and then presenting it to the client so my work process was get, was getting faster and faster eventually i uh, realized that okay there are this is uh, uh, like uh, instead of <laughs> continuing my job as a art director if i start illustrating i can achieve much more than a art director because there are no uh, skilled person at all uh, in advertising agency uh, like uh, skilled in the sense like uh, who have uh, like a uh, uh, art direction skill as well as a uh, illustration skill so that is the reason i decided to quit my job and start il- like start work as a illustrator now i get get to work with all different people from like all over uh, india like all over world i can say like <laughs> all different uh, uh, ad agencies different clients imagine if i was working in a ad agency as a director i would have been stuck in like one city with one particular client as a illustrator i can like expand my portfolio but yeah at the same time uh, the most of the people are, are thinking about like uh, what kind of course i should take and how do i develop my skill so there is no course even if you go to a uh, college like achita kala parishad or any uh, fine art college doesn't mean that you can improve your illustration skill illustration skill is totally up to you It's purely you like how you uh, take inspiration from uh, others and how you uh, grasp things around you and how you do you uh, how much time do you really spend on uh, uh, drawing uh, uh, each day drawing on a paper it basically depends on uh, how much how much uh, what can i say eagerness that you have to learn it's totally up to you even if you join nata or uh, if you go to nid doesn't mean that you can develop your drawing skill obviously your lecturers will tell you okay uh, do good work all that nobody can hold your hand and tell you okay this is how you draw drawing is something that you have to learn on your own it is basically 
uh, about like uh, observing your surrounding and uh, improving yourself you guys are really lucky that uh, there are hundreds of uh, youtube channels and there are many uh, like uh, drawing tutorials around you you can just take inspiration from any anywhere and uh, start like uh, working on your uh, your own uh, sketches uh so that was another question actually from one of the viewers uh how did you take that big step into freelance because it's quite a scary world out, world out there and uh, how did you take that step into freelancing and how did you get your first client uh what what is your uh, advice to those thinking along those lines yeah uh freelancing is like a risky yes of course it is uh and uh, you can't really decide that okay uh, i have to become a freelance illustrator or freelance graphic designer uh, like overnight obviously you must get like a industry experience for that you have to join a company and work with the community like different uh, art directors different designers different uh, clients only then you will get hands on experience like uh, you'll get a brief idea about like uh, how the industry works only if you start your career in uh, uh, like uh with any design house or any company only then you can uh, know like how the things in this world works it is not just about uh, freelancing freelancing uh, has like many challenges like uh, uh, the uh, the payment issue and uh, like how the company works like uh, they have they have different uh, work process like uh, each company will have a different work process like uh, some companies will have vendor registration all that so basically these kind of terms basically uh vendor registration if i tell you like you will be wondering like what is vendor registration like that same thing if you wo start working in a company and then uh, uh, we, uh like uh, day by day you will get to know like uh, okay uh, what are the procedures uh, are followed by different clients and different uh, 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 companies so i worked in ad agency for like 5 years so uh, like in 5 years i worked for like three different ad agencies i did like a, uh, went on like a different photo shoots uh, and i did some uh, like a different commercials like uh, from uh, like leaflet design to like ad campaign i have done everything all the jobs i have also done like uh, cut and paste jobs like going to the studio like uh, <laughs> holding some printouts and pasting it uh, all the pages together like all kind of crap jobs i have done so only after that i had the like uh, like after getting a clear picture about like how ad agency industry the the entire industry works i got a confidence that okay now i know uh, how the uh, things work in the industry i can start on my own like that so if i want to start an ad agency of my own then obviously i need to have like the the support of like uh, entire team like i need to have a copy partner i need to figure out like a how to uh, uh, get uh, like a clients for that i need uh, help from uh, uh, account executives like that like uh, servicing people normally what we call them in uh, ad agency term so it's basically team work but i chose to uh, not to uh, go ahead in uh, in that kind of a direction like not setting up uh, like an ad agency uh, setup but yeah as uh, like a freelancing seem to be like a much more uh, uh, freelancing as a illustrator uh, seem to be much more uh, like uh, faster and easier for me because this is like one man show i i don't have uh, any juniors under me or uh, any boss or anything i am my own boss and i like uh, get the clients yeah getting the client again they, yeah since i already had like industry uh, connection i worked for uh, agency for 5 years i had already developed like few contacts uh, in different agencies so when i started freelancing i was uh, like i kept telling everyone that oh, guys i am like uh, i'm not working for any ad agency now i'm like a full time freelancer like even while i was working in uh, agency i was getting like offer for like uh, small for small time uh, freelance projects so then i decided okay if i start full time the more chances of me to get like more uh, projects yeah there is no guarantee but i was lucky that i started getting offers not just from bangalore but outside uh, bangalore as well yeah you need the network to do that right yes yes 
so there are some questions uh, uh, from beginners. Okay, uh, on how can I improve uh, my skills, as in how can I paint like that? Uh, what device, what app, uh, what brand of uh, tab uh, should I use? So, if you can just enlighten them on that. Yeah. So, uh, software, it is just Adobe's Photoshop, I can suggest you. Uh, that's the best software that's available right now for digital art. Many people would say that uh, there are like, uh, uh, there's another app in uh, iPad, like uh, Procreate, but that is totally different from Photoshop. Photoshop is very convenient uh, when you have to do uh, illustration like mine, like what I do. So yeah, and uh, tablet, I can, there are many different uh, brands. Backcom is one. And uh, XP Pen is the new, new brand. And there is another brand called Huon, Huon, I think, H-U-I-O-N. Yeah, that is cheaper than uh, Wacom. Wacom is the oldest brand. It's been there in this market for more than 10 years. So their uh, products are really uh, high-end and uh, 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 normally more uh, like a, a little expensive than uh, Huon and uh, XP Pen. But XP Pen is also equally good. I had uh, suggested it to many people and uh, yeah, it works out to be cheaper and uh, good, really good. And how do you develop your skill like mine? Uh, I would suggest not to copy anyone. <laughs> it's better if you start practicing on your own and uh, take inspiration from different uh, artists. Like uh, you can uh, join Behance, deventart.com or uh, even uh, I won't say Pinterest. Pinterest normally uh, uh, it is not the right way to follow uh, any particular artist. ArtStation. ArtStation is a really good uh, website. You can join there and start following like a different artist and see what other artists are doing like uh, like around the globe. What kind of what, uh, what all different styles they, uh, they have. Like uh, gaming uh, artist will have different style, like a commercial artist will have different style, like mine. So there are many uh, more, like uh, the illust scope of style it is like really vast. If you join our station and start browsing, you'll be like shocked to see like the many different uh, experts over there. Yeah, uh, Nith, while we are on the topic, uh, some other students or I mean, some other viewers have also asked uh, what kind of brushes you use, how you add texture, light and shadow. Uh, this one, I don't know whether you can verbally give the answer or you can uh, connect them in some way to uh, the uh, tutorial. Yeah, that's a bit complicated. Like uh, <laughs> you know, brushes, I can't really uh, tell you like uh, what uh, best to use. I normally use like uh, the default brushes that is available in Photoshop and I also have uh, like a many uh, different uh, texture brushes which I uh, don't use that often but it, yeah, it depends. Uh, if you are looking for like a different texture brush you can just uh, go to Devent Art and uh, browse over there. There are many different artists who have uh, given it for free which they have uh, <laughs> developed with like a lots of lots of struggle but they are giving it they are very generous and giving it for free you can just go to devent art and browse brushes for photoshop you'll see many uh, like thousands of brushes are there so and it depends on you like uh, what kind of artwork you are creating and which brush suits you better and uh, when it comes to texture lights and shadows yeah, texture, light, and shadow, it's purely uh, observation skill. Uh, like if you are creating uh, illustration, like uh, before you put something on the paper, you have to have that kind of imagination in your head. Like, okay, the light should be from back or light should be from side or uh, it's an evening sky. So it all depends on uh, how much uh, you observe. So nobody can tell you like uh, how to uh, <laughs> like uh, master the lighting skill. 
there are many tutorials on the net like uh, okay you create one uh, ball uh, like a circle and then okay this is how the uh, uh, light moves and you get the reflection light from the ground like this but it's all basically about the observation basically uh, if you start uh, uh, like practicing still life like uh, sit at home keep something on your table and uh, just observe how the light uh, re reflects on the object like keep one bottle or like uh, some flower vase or something and then sit, just notice like how the light functions on the uh, still life if you start uh, practicing still life at home like with the paper and pencil then that's the best way to uh, i mean uh, uh, understand how the light works on each object uh, okay that is <laughs> yeah that is actually is it uh, confusing or <laughs> no no it's it's all coming down to one thing practice practice and more practice right yeah basically uh, still life yes and uh, there are two very uh, project specific or rather three project specific questions okay uh, how much time did the tamil movie poster take uh, that took me a really long time <laughs> each poster i spent around like uh, one week i think <laughs> yeah the final poster i promised him that i'll give it in a week the but i took care on two weeks <laughs> but since i know the creative director like he's very good friend of mine so he was like very convincing and uh, he was like uh, uh, cool man take how much time you want i can talk to the director <laughs> like that okay you see you don't get uh, uh, like that kind of liberty with the timeline but he was very uh, keen on getting the like really good quality work so he was very uh, like yeah very generous with the time <laughs> Okay, one more question is in the Hollard ad. Uh, how did the eyes open and shut? Ah, uh, they had. Uh, I even I don't know how did they do that. They, uh, basically, when they uh, briefed me that uh, uh, saying that okay, this coding is going to actually open the eyes and close in the night. I was even I was wondering like how did how do they do that? So uh, they had some uh, like a machine fixed behind the uh, billboard and. Uh, like uh, uh, after six o'clock or something, I don't know whether they had they did it manually or uh, they had fixed in, uh, some ti uh, timer. But yeah, they had it done uh, like with some machine. Even I don't so know how it, uh, the photograph faded one into the other. I'm guessing. Which one? The photograph, the open eye faded into the closed eye. Or... That, that was done in Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> that I only uh, like I created it in uh, Photoshop with like. Uh, uh there's an option called uh, timeline in photoshop you can create uh -huh. a cheap image it's like an animation then. yeah basically a cheap animation <laughs> <laughs> okay it's in photoshop yeah so I think the answer is clear yeah. now yeah you uh, yeah. you can go uh, like google or uh, go to youtube and search for like a uh, photoshop animation there are hundreds of tutorials like uh, timeline tutorials basically okay. uh, uh, there is an option called uh, timeline in uh, photoshop so it's very easy to do that okay uh, and i think the last one you have already answered that is uh, how much time does the newspaper ad uh, take yeah about uh, about a week about a week yeah. okay I think that's all the questions we have. Uh, okay. Right. Um, so it was really nice having you here. Uh, you know, and you've always uh, been a big part of DQ Labs, and I hope you continue to be uh, that way. Um, uh, can you share your contact uh, or uh, how the how the viewers can connect with you? Uh, yeah, I'm there on uh, Instagram. I'm there on Facebook. Uh, let me share all the links with you. I think it's there on my website. Okay, it's on the website, everybody. If anybody needs to get in touch with Nitin uh, Kumlekar, please do get in touch with him uh, through uh, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, I think uh, you have uh, a bio account also, right? Okay. Uh, bye bye then. <laughs> uh, I think Umesh.
Yeah, Lian. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, um, fantastic show, Nitin and Lian. Thank you so much for coming over. Thanks, Lian, for hosting the show. So, Lian is our uh, partner for DQ Labs uh, Mangalo. She manages DQ Labs Mangalo, and um, Nitin has been associated with DQ Labs for uh, teaching, mentoring, and etc. For um, some of these uh, master classes. All right. And uh, Nitin, um, yeah. very inspiring to see your work. I had seen your work a couple of years back, and I have, I'm seeing them again now. I mean. It's always refreshing to see, and the amount of detail that you are putting in the the kind of life you are bringing into these uh, illustrations is really really amazing. Okay, so uh, thank you so much for your time, and uh, audience and uh, DQ students and all of you out there watching this show, thank you so much for coming over. I hope you are enjoying these shows. Uh, you are learning something or the other related to the des various design careers. Okay, so please continue attending next week as well. We are having another e meet at starting at four o'clock. We'll be circulating the information in WhatsApp groups soon. Okay, and uh, and uh, yes, uh, so I'm hoping to have a master class uh, with uh, Nitin Kumblekar for all the DQ Lab students. Now it is online. Students from all across can also attend. We'll Uh, I think we lost uh, Mesh there. Um, yeah. Yes, thank you, Nitin, for being here. And uh, thank you, everyone, uh, all our viewers, all our students, and all those who have been supporting us always. Uh, this We will see you all next week at the same time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.